So I think if you start an F&B business, don't think about how you want to make money or how many outlets I want here, I want there. Learn how to survive first. Hello everybody, my name is Ken. Uh, here are my partners, Pai and Gideon. Hi, uh, we are the owners of Pass Nasi Lama. What kind of Nasi Lama? We have Taiwan chicken, Nasi Lama, Indonesian, Lemak Chili Padi. We have our Malay cuisine, Asam Pedas, Samba, and our beef rendang. Uh, we started this business at uh, this cloud kitchen in uh, located at uh, Bona Vista. So we, uh, we were there for three months, about three to four months. Then we moved to Dustin, which is also a shared, shared kitchen. So Dustin, we were there about also, uh, I think, a few months. Uh. Then we moved to this outlet at Boogie's Cube. Young the time, mixed with a lot of Malay people. So I also like Malay cuisine. So I was inspired with Malay dishes. Uh. So we were like, hey, you know, why not? Let's do nasi lemak with his combination of his chicken, which is a good hit. Uh. The, the, I mean, the, the plate and everything was a good hit. So that's how we started our journey for nasi lemak. Uh. Yeah, I remember like uh, four years ago, I brought um, Gideon to my restaurant in Taipei. And because my restaurant in Taipei is selling hot pot, but end up my chicken wings sell better than my hot pot. So I saw this as an opportunity when he leave the company. So I bring him to Taipei and learn the fried chicken. So how I met Ken was at uh, Muji doing retail. So I know his sister first. So her sister say, hey, your pattern seem like my brother. La. You, you must get to know him. So once I get to know, well, her sister intro me, Ken. La. So then we became very good friends. And the sister say she regret introing us together. <laughs> <laughs> then for Apai, everyday drunk law. <laughs> Stay in Shun together, everyday drunk law. Then yeah, we're very close. Oh. Yeah. The ingredients in the nasi lemak is not like the local nasi lemak store that you can find because uh, I I can see like the local nasi lemak store a lot is like you use uh, sausage, uh, fish cake, or filet, which you can find um, at supermarket or what. Uh, no offense, but just refry. But I always want. The chicken you have to marinate for one whole night or the mutton or the beef you have to chew it for one whole night and it is ready made when you order so so you can taste the freshness and uh, how delicious it is when you come here uh, most of the nasi omak uh, they cook they cook and prepare it beforehand so uh, our customer may need to wait longer because when they order then we make we cook we prepare on upon order you know, like they say, hey, do business with French, coral and stuff. But end of the day, after after so many years of approaching me, I think they are pursuing me. I think why not just do it, right? Like he got the money, I got the skill. So so, but end up okay lah. We sometimes really angry each other. But when we drink it, then we are next day okay. So, I mean, yeah, la, we do have our disagreement, but end of the day, we still give and take. We, if not, I do. Uh, our top seller will be the lemak uh, chicken, the fish and chick set, and the beef and duck. Why is it so special about our fish and chick? It's because uh, the fish and chick got, have both worlds. Uh. We got the half a fish and half a chicken. So, the customer can try both proteins at the same time. So the fish and chick consists of uh, the rice, the achar, the onsen egg, uh, which is marinated overnight. Uh, it's a Japanese onsen egg, uh, like the ramen egg like that. Very flavorful, then at the center it melts out. Uh, for the fish, it's being battered, deep fried, boneless, fillet. And then uh, top with asam pedas, uh, sambal. As for the chicken, will be our signature chicken color. So you can try both of 
the two proteins in one dish. Uh. Next will be lemak chili padi. Uh, what's so special about lemak chili padi is it's the it's like curry but it's infused in more coconut sauce and blended chili padi. So they have a spice and creaminess, cream, cream, creamy texture like carbonara with chili padi. Yeah, then our chicken is being sous vide about 14 hours. Uh, yeah, so tender, fall off the bone. The marination is uh, packed inside the chicken. So uh, actually, we are opening uh, our second outlet in uh, Changi Airport, uh, the P3 uh, public area. Uh, so hope the east side, stay east side, can come and support us. Uh. Uh, for the future of our company, I'm very happy that uh, the first franchise that we receive is from such a big listed company from overseas. That's why we can go into Terminal 3, which can be seen by the whole world. Because if you don't have a brand or you are not up there, you, you cannot go in unless somebody bring you in, which is a very big company. So I hope that means we are in the right direction, I think. So hopefully, uh, we will have more people franchise on our food. Because you know, you cannot find outside. It's only we have because it's our secret recipe. Me, uh, a lot of people say, even the Singapore actor, the Mark Lee say, if your friend wants to start a business, you want to let him burn money, you tell him to do F&B. She will burn money, she will die. So I think if you start an F&B business, don't think about how you want to make money, or how many outlets I want here, I want there. Learn how to survive first. To survive, other people cannot survive, you take their customer. That's all I can say. Because yeah, starting we lose money, but we never lose more than other people who open restaurants. That's what we said. Survive until now. You can see how many FMB all closed down. Yeah. So that's a very valuable lesson I learned. Yeah. So uh, has need chef and service staff. Yeah. We are hiring, uh. we are hiring. Contact so us, if you're interested in contact us, yeah. <laughs> and we hope those that uh, haven't tried our food can come down today to support our small business. Uh. Okay, leave, uh. Leave, uh.